Hey guys, this is Sina from Cashew and today I'll show you a simple way to animate a logo. You can apply the same effects and techniques when you animate your logo. All the project files are in the description as always, so you can download them and try it on your own. Let's get started. Hey guys, today we are going to talk about logo animation and I'm going to walk you through my process of how I created this simple logo animation. So here is our reference. This is how the logo looks and I'm going to lock this layer and then I'm going to right click on it and click guide layer and then I'm going to lock it again. I will start by creating these shapes, draw a circle um, and adjust the stroke, change the color. I'm going to move the anchor point at the center and then I am going to duplicate this layer. Then I am going to rename the layers. I'm going to move it and adjust the stroke a bit and then change the color to dark blue. Great. So let me move the blue layer below. Uh, now let me hide the reference and we are going to start by animating the yellow circle. First, let's open up the stroke, stroke width, and then add a keyframe for the stroke width. Now move just one frame before that, click S on your keyboard and add a keyframe for the scale and then move these keyframes right here. So that would be the final keyframe. Let's increase the stroke width. Let's make the, the circle smaller and then I'm going to make these keyframes hold keyframes. I don't want them to mess around with my animation. So now we're going to start animating. Uh, let's add a keyframe for the position, for the scale. I'm going to click U so I can see all the keyframes and then I'm going to move these right here. I want to make this circle start from like here, then it goes up. Okay, great. I think the timing is right. And now let's bring these keyframes here. So that will be the first one and that would be the final one. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks good, but I need to change these, change the timing a bit. And then uh, let's move these keyframes for the stroke width and the scale to the left like this. Okay. This looks good. I'm just going to adjust the key the position keyframes a little bit. Now let's add the rough and edges effect. You can keep the default settings and we are just going to add a keyframe for the border um, at around this time. And then at the end, just make it zero. Let's just move this keyframe and easy easies to. Okay, great. So this is how it looks. Perfect. So now I'm going to create a little shape. So just like that, I'm going to change the stroke width and the color. Let's make it yellow. Okay, great. And now I'm going to parent it to the yellow circle. Um, I'm going to apply the rough and edges again, and then I'm going to add the trim pad effect. Add a keyframe for the end and make it start at zero and uh, make it at end at a hundred and then add a keyframe for the start, make it start at zero and end at a hundred again. Okay. So uh, I just need to print this again. And now let's just control shift and D to cut and duplicate, delete this one, click you so you can see where your keyframes are. I need to adjust the timing. And now let me see my reference. So this is my blue circle. I'm going to move it above. I'm going to animate the position and the scale, and I'm going to move these keyframes here. Now I'm just going to copy and paste the position and the scale of the yellow circle, and I'm going to paste it to the blue circle. Now I'm going to select these keyframes and I'm going to move them because uh, I want to create another animation before that. Uh, so let's create a square. Right click on the pad and click convert to Bezier pad. Then I'm going to open a pad and I'm going to copy this keyframe and I'm going to do the same thing for the blue circle and I'll add a keyframe for the pad. Okay. Awesome. Move this keyframe here and then paste the keyframe that you copied from the square and I'm going to delete the square. Okay. So now we have this cool morphing animation from square to, to a circle. Uh, let's add the trim pad effect here again. 
I'm going to use the same setting. So add keyframes for the end, make it start at zero and then make it end at a hundred. All right. So I'm just going to offset these a little bit. So uh, let's easy ease this keyframe. And as you can see, like the edges here look weird. So open up stroke, line cup and the line joint round. And now I'm going to offset these keyframes. Amazing. Now I'm going to duplicate this little shape and I'm going to adjust the path and then I'm going to change the color. All right. Okay. I think it looks good, but we need to adjust uh, the stroke with content shapes, stroke, and then add a keyframe for the stroke with. Okay, so just change it here. Um, and now it should look like this. And I'm just going to change the position of this one. Now let's move these keyframes around. I am just going to make a few adjustments and feel free to play with these keyframes until you're happy with the way it looks and the timing. Okay. Awesome. Um, and now I'm going to duplicate the blue circle and then I'm going to duplicate the yellow circle and I'm going to bring the yellow circle above the, the, the white circle and I'm going to alpha mate it. So uh, I can see these white lines and I'm just gonna change the stroke a little bit. So right now it's 22, just make it 23. I'm just gonna open up uh, the opacity of this layer, like the white layer, make it start at zero and make it end at uh, 100. Perfect. Now let me duplicate this uh, shape and I'm gonna create a few little shapes. Now I'm going to duplicate the blue layer and I'm going to change the stroke color to white, offset it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so this is how it looks. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the other motion elements. I'm going to duplicate all of them. Uh, let me change their color, uh, so I can know that these are, uh, okay. Uh, and now, uh, search for the fill effect, apply the fill effect and make them all white. Okay, I'm just paste this effect here. Uh, and now move all of them right here. And this is how it looks. Okay, awesome. And the final thing would be to animate the text. We're going to use a very simple animation, just the position and the opacity. So I'm just going to, like at the start, I'm going to make the opacity zero and I'm going to move them down a little bit. Uh, and then I'm just going to offset these elements. And this is how it looks. Okay, awesome. So we are ready with this logo animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and the project files are in the description as always. Thank you very much for your time and I'm going to see you next week.